Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be doing a review of the Power Rangers RPM action figures. Okay guys, so we're down here by the um, action figures. Now, before we get started on really what they can do and all the different things about them, I'm just going to state a few pros and cons about them. Now, number one thing that I really had a problem with with these rangers is that they do not stand up as easily as other rangers such as SPD. Now, I mentioned that in my SPD um, action figure review that these guys do not stand up as well as them. Their legs are just much more skinnier as you can see here and their feet are not very wide. Especially Summer who is very, very difficult to stand up. Her legs being so small and her feet being so small as well. Also her shoes have heels on them which make them also very difficult to stand up. And Summer is not the best um, girl characters. The SPD ones are way easier to do stuff with. And I'll mention a bit more about her in a minute. but. As for the rest of the rangers, they are a bit hard to stand up. If you're not planning on standing them up like this, for instance, then you're not going to be really having much of a problem with these guys. If you're just planning on playing with them, I mean, then they're not going to really have that much of a problem. So, you probably, would, these are probably some of the best rangers if this is your favorite series. These rangers are probably some of my favorites, just being there that it's RPM, and RPM was one of my favorite series, and... They have good detail on them and things like that. And they come with two weapons each and stuff like that. They're a very cool thing. Um, so yeah, that's the pros and cons. And let's move on to the actual Rangers. Now, as you can see here, we start with, um, we're gonna start with Scott. And he actually comes with two weapons. Now I know I only have his street saber here, but he actually comes with another weapon. It will be a gun. Now, how I know this specifically, even though I didn't get him brand new. Now, none of these guys I got brand new. Actually, maybe Summer was brand new. I think she was, actually. But all, none of these guys were actually brand new otherwise. And so their weapons, the way that you can tell that, these, that they have these different weapons is because if they have a sword as their special weapon or a melee weapon as their special weapon, which means like a axe, a sword, a... Something like that. Well, that's all that they have. But those, if they have one of those, then they're going to have a blaster. So if they have a sword, that means that they have a blaster. If they have a gun, such as Flynn over here who has the turbo cannon, he gets a sword. And same for Dylan. He has a sword and a blaster. Or his special weapon is a blaster. I don't know what the name of his blaster was. I forget right now. But he has a sword. I don't know. You can't really see that. But he does have a sword back here. Now, same for Ziggy. Ziggy has a axe as his special weapon. I don't remember the name of his axe either. And he has a pistol for his normal weapon. And so that's how you can tell what sort of weapons your rangers will have. It is one, they'll have one of the weapons depending on what their special weapon is. Now, Summer, on the other hand, comes with two weapons. She comes, or she comes with three weapons. Technically, her her special weapon is not actually a weapon at all. It's that little car thing. So it doesn't actually do anything. You can't really do anything with it. Unless you want to combine all the things, which I'll show you. All the weapons, which I'll show you how to do in a minute. I did lose Summer's weapon, special weapon thing, which is very unfortunate. Because that would have been perfect for the demonstration today. But I did lose it, unfortunately. But it's she will come with the, her special weapon. And both a sword and a blaster. Now, her blaster is actually smaller than any of the other blasters. And as well as is her sword. Now her sword is, they're also different colors. So you can tell really easily which one is which. Her sword doesn't really have that much of a difference. It is a little bit smaller. It's hard to tell, but it is a little bit smaller. And it's actually kind of too big for her, for her hand. But her blaster is just right. But it is a lot smaller than the normal blaster, which I'll show you up close in just a minute. So we're going to start with um, Scott for like his what he can do and just looking at his street saber. So his street saber is pretty well detailed. Mine's a little bit bent just from being um, in with other rangers. It will do that. And you know how plastic does or like rubber plastic does that sort of stuff. It does bend and it, it does actually have uh, pretty good quality. It's It has a lot of different details on it. Not quite as much as the SPD blasters and things like that. But they are, they do have a lot of detail on them. Here's an all around view of it. You can obviously see. Now the edges are obviously not going to be sharp. They're just, they're pretty blunt. Uh, I think you would probably consider them flat. And, you know, here's the handle. There you go. 
There's a good view of the back of it, now the front of it. And here's the whole sword, like this, sorry. And yeah, so there's the sword. Now here's the actual ranger, we're just going to set this down so that I can combine them all into the um, full big gun later in the video, but it, we're going to set that sword back there. Now here's the actual ranger. Now as you know, Scott is the eagle ranger, or falcon ranger, and technically he's not, he's a car ranger, but he has the falcon zord, which is just a car, but still falcon. But anyway, um, he's, and you can see the details of the falcon on his head, looks pretty good, honestly. I've always liked the look of the S, or the RPM rangers, over a few different ones. I'm not going to really name names of which one I thought were kind of lame looking things, but still, they have a really, RPM has a very nice, um, detailed suit, and I really have always liked that suit. Um, you can obviously see that he has his number one on him. He has the little tires around his boots and his, around his, um, gloves. Here's the back of him, a good view for a little while. Um, the back doesn't really have that much detail. Whereas the front has quite a bit of detail, having the belt, and the belt actually does have quite a bit of detail. I just don't want to put it too close to the camera because then it's going to blur up, but it does have quite a bit of detail. Let me see if I can get it close enough to, for you guys to see that. I hope you guys can see that. I think that's the the high octane um, symbol right there. On, that's the on his belt, and also that stretches up to his straps, all silver. Then his black belt, which has a lot of detail. And even on the back, it has a bit of detail. You can see that there. And so, yeah, that is the that is Scott, the Red Ranger of RPM. And we're done with him, so we're going to move him to the back. Very nice detail. Um, the only downfall about these Rangers is that they were kind of made very diff They're very difficult to stand up. Not very difficult. You just you have to spread their legs, kind of, and can't really push them too far back, or else they're going to fall over. And... That just kind of causes a bit of problem if you're just trying to stand them all up as a display or something. But still, a nice ranger for any other purposes, just as um, playing with them. Or even as a display, you can still make them work. They'll still do um, exactly what you need them to do. Moving on to Flynn. Here he is. We're going to move on to his sword first, just because it's kind of like the random part of his thing. Now, the sword actually has quite a bit of detail, being like... Kind of just like the small normal weapon. It does have quite a bit of detail on it. I think I believe it does have the same amount of detail as the um, SPD stuff, SPD weapons. Let me just see if that'll focus for a second. Um, well, I hope you guys can at least see that a little bit. But it does have quite a bit of detail on there, and it looks pretty realistic despite not having uh, colors. But if you do want colors, I'm sure that they're gonna make a uh, legacy. Or I'm sure that they made a Legacy Edition RPM Ranger, and probably a Lightning Collection Edition RPM Ranger will come out, even though it has not yet. But there's the sword anyway. For if you're looking at that, it will bend too. It ha mine's a little bit bent. You can keep it straight. It's not like it's hard to keep them straight. They don't bend on their own. But if you just keep them like jammed, like. If you keep them bent like that for a while, it's going to bend eventually, which is kind of good and kind of bad because obviously you don't want it to snap, you want it to bend, but then again, you don't want it to bend. So, I mean, it's better than snapping, but it's not better than not bending. So there, we're done with that sword. I'm just going to set that back here. That does not go to the big weapon um, that we're going to build in a second. It just, I'm just sitting it back there for absolutely no reason, mostly because I don't want to put it back in his hand. But here we go. Stand that back up. Okay, so here's his turbo cannon. Um, as you can see, I've always liked how he said turbo cannons. It was a very good part. Uh, it's kind of a big gun in the show, honestly. I think it's one of the biggest weapons that they have. I, it is the biggest weapon that they have as a special weapon, but I think it's the biggest weapon, like, really ever, besides possibly Time Force's blasters, which are kind of unrealistic, but huge. But, um, anyway... Here's the blaster. It has a bunch of detail on it. Very nice. Very good. Very cool. Here's what it looks like on the inside down there. Now this does not actually shoot anything. None of these weapons do. You can uh, make it kind of... You can slide Summer's um, thing into this so that it can shoot out of it. As you see in the show, it does shoot 
um, Summer's weapon or her special weapon, but I will be demonstrating how to build that big weapon in a second, like I said. But there's his turbo, turbo cannon. Uh, a lot of detail, very cool. One of my favorite super weapons that they have. But moving on to just Flynn. Now Flynn obviously has a lot of detail. Um, he has his number two on here that's shaped like a lion. He's obviously the Lion Ranger, even though his helmet doesn't really look like a lion all that much. But I'll show you how it does. See how you have those two eyes, then you have the mane, which would be this piece right here. See those yellow lines? That's his mane. You just kind of got to imagine it more like um, wider. So there he is. Looks, it's like he has um, very good detail. Uh, the body and stuff is pretty much almost exactly like uh, Scott's, but still, just going to show you it for just good reference. Now, one thing that you will notice about the RPM Rangers that I forgot to mention on Scott is that their heads are kind of facing down, whereas like SPD's heads are straight where they're looking forward, their faces are kind of, their heads are kind of bent towards the ground. Um, I, you can't really see that probably. Well, there you go. It's kind of like their neck is bent. It's not really just like a straightforward thing. It's more of a bent um, gaze. That's just something I noticed on them. Still very nice, but um, yeah, there you go. There is Flynn, the RPM Blue Ranger. That was actually an easy stand up. Now we'll move on to number three, Summer. Now I'm not very happy with Summer's design and stuff. Unfortunately, I do not think that they did a very good job on her. I don't know why you can't see her very well right now. Let me see if I can get that to focus on her. Mm, I think that's a little bit better. Obviously, you can see the three for the bear. And her head is actually a bit more movable than the others, whereas the others are, don't really move all that much. She can move their heads a little bit which I'll show you just in a second with um, Dylan Ziggy. But you move your eyes a little bit, it just doesn't turn all the way around like um, the RPA or the SPD Rangers and hers does. Uh, well, uh, they might if you loosen them up a little bit more, but hers is very loose. It's like hers is on a ball joint and theirs are just on normal pieces. Okay, but there, you can see her. She has all the designs and stuff of them. Obviously she has the skirt and then over here you can see her morpher, which would technically be on Flynn and Scott because obviously, you know, Ziggy and Dylan have different morphers and Flynn and Scott have the same morpher as Summer. I just lost a piece of their morphers and their morphers will have a little plug-in spot over there. And there you go. Um, now we're going to show you, I'm going to show you her blaster and her sword. Um, I'm just going to set her down right now because she's fairly difficult to stand up. Okay, stand up. Gotta look nice for the camera. Okay, anyway, moving on. Here we are. Um, it's a little bit difficult to see. Let me just try to get the, the focus. Oh, I did kind of. Uh, there you go. You can see that it's. Uh, it also has this little peg, just like the other ones, to just like the other blasters, to go onto her belt. I'm gonna actually put that on her belt right there. Um, just take a look at that really quickly before I put that on her belt. It has the same design as the other ones, and then. Hold on, let me try this for a second. And there you go. It just goes perfectly onto her belt, and you can just set that there. Now we're just going to set her down with her blaster. That was her blaster. It was obvi It was smaller, and it actually has... Let me just show you this really quickly. Inside of there, you can see this little... There's a little, like, lever thing in there, in between the handle and the um, other piece right there. And that piece is the one that is not on the normal ranger's um, blaster. I'm gonna go back to her and show you how they, how well she can hold that in a second, but here's her sword. It is a little bit smaller and it is light gray, whereas the other ones are dark gray. Same for her blaster. This one is not bent, probably the straightest um, sword I have. And yeah, it is the straightest sword I have. And it does have the same detail. It's very nice and looks practically the same as the other swords, just just a gray, light gray color and a little bit smaller. So now I'm going to bring you back, or I'm going to bring Summer back. And I'm going to show you what is really bad about Summer. I don't know if you can see this on her hands, but here, let me see if I can get that. See how there's like a yellow right there? You can't really see it, but let me try to get that to focus right there. There's a little bit of yellow on her hand. 
And that yellow is where the paint has actually scraped off of her hand just by putting the sword in her hand or the blaster in her hand. A lot more on this hand. You can see that right there. You, uh, I guess you can't really. But hold on, let's get that to focus. Okay, so there's a lot more on this hand. It really just, it does not really, um, this, the swords and stuff, they just scrape all the paint off of her uh, hands, which is kind of unfortunate. But anyway, I want to show you how this sword fits in her hand. It does not actually do it that well. It's very difficult to get it to actually work in her hand where it won't fall out. There we go, because it just it's a lot heavier than her hands able to carry because her arm is so small and her fingers are so flimsy because they're so small that it's just really difficult to get it or to hold it. And if you just hit anything, it's pretty much going to fall out. Um, just hitting this blaster that was I was barely pushing and just fell out. So this is a, I think that this was very disappointing, this ranger, because they just did not do a very great job on her. But let's put the blaster in there. The blaster look, works very well in her hand. Uh, I didn't have the sword in her hand originally because it would not fit, but the blaster does fit very well. It's fairly difficult to get out of her hand. I'm flicking it right there, and it just doesn't come out as easily. But yeah, so that's a good part, that her blaster works in her hand very well. And there she is. Um, one good thing is that her head does move a lot easier than the other rangers. But I think that this ranger was just not very well designed, unfortunately. Um, not Nothing rude to the, the designer. I'm just saying that they probably should have made her similar to the SPD rangers. Where they're easier to stand up and things like that. But still a very good design and things like that. Just not very practical for... Um, playing with or anything like that. So I'm just going to sit her back here just because um, she, we're not going to do anything with her and she doesn't have a special weapon so that's not going to be put into the gu um, gun which she actually does come with one like I mentioned like I said before but I do not have it or I lost it. And now we're going to move to Ranger 4 Ziggy the Shark Ranger. So let's focus on him not the guys in the back. Okay here we are. So here you can see that he obviously has the same detail as like Scott and Flynn in the way that his belt is gold and his suspenders are silver. Or actually, sorry, not his belt is gold because obviously their belts are black. Uh, his belt is gold, which is a difference, and his suspenders are silver, which is the same thing. But um, you can see the gold and silver contrast between the belt and the suspenders, which is very cool. I've always liked these, these Rangers designs a bit more um, just because the gold and especially Dylan, who is one of my favorite Rangers, but... Yeah, I just kind of like this a bit more. Uh, you have the gold and silver on there, obviously. His symbol is gold, just like theirs, which is not unusual. That's just the same thing. Uh, obviously, his wheels or his tires and on his uh, um, shoes and his gloves are still there. Um, but obviously, they're different because these don't really look like tires. I'm not exactly positive what these are. They're the same things as tires, like on the other Rangers, or they do the same things, but I don't think that they are tires, or if they are, I'm not sure what sort of tire they would be. Uh, if you do know what that is, please leave a comment below. It might be some sort of monster truck tire or something like that. Um, but one thing that you will notice on these Rangers is that their morpher is on their wrist, just for the record. It is there. You can see it right there. Um, so that's a good detail. Now we're going to take the blaster out of his hand, because obviously he's a sword, he has an axe, so he gets a blaster as his weapon. Now his blaster looks almost exactly the same as Summer's, pretty much the same thing. A darker gray color, but still, same thing pretty much. Now we're going to set it back, we're going to put it on his belt like we said we would, and it does just go perfectly on there. It will go onto the um, Ranger's belts that do not come with blasters, the blaster will go onto their belts, but it will also go on to these belts. It doesn't go on, it goes on just as well on the other Rangers belts if you just wanted to put it on Dylan's belt, for instance, even though he already has a blaster. If you just wanted to put it on his belt, you can, it will not make a difference. It sticks on there just as well. So here is his axe, now that we have that done, we're just going to set him down over here. And here's his axe, so you can see, very nice detail, uh, a lot of cool stuff, you can see like the blaster. Um, thing over there is handle. I'm gonna show you that really well because it does look a little bit weird But it does have its own reason to look like that. It will be being put into the 
um, big gun later in a second, which I'm going to set that down back here because I'm done showing you that. And we're going to move back to him. Uh, we will build the gun in just a minute when we're done with Dylan. Here is Ziggy. Um, as I said before, as I showed you before, I mean, the shark thing, as you can see, is on his helmet. Looks fairly much like a shark. I have seen rangers such as Wild Force who look a lot more like a shark on their helmet. But he wasn't really meant to look exactly like a shark. Um, he was meant to look like a car shark or his motorcycle shark. Uh, one thing that I do want to note, though, is that his tires on the side of his head are a lot different than the other rangers. Which I'm going to show you Scott's really quickly. This gun fell out. I'm just going to leave that out. His tires are, like, different. They're actually tires. Whereas Ziggy's tires are more like motorcycle tires. Where you can see, like, the motorcycle piece coming out there and then the tire as well. So his are more like a motorcycle tire. Which I think is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, that's Ziggy. Moving on to Dylan. Now, here's Dylan, Ranger 5, the Wolf Ranger. And this is the last Ranger that we have. So I'm going to show you the sword really quickly because we already saw a sword. Um, this one is also bent, unfortunately, but still, uh, I'm fine with that. It's not going to cause me any problems. Again, it does not just bend automatically. You just have to get, it has to be stuck in something for a while to actually bend. And if you're just leaving it out, like on your desk or something, it's not just going to automatically bend. Uh, it's very good quality. And again, it is better than snapping, which is very bad. It's annoying when things snap. Uh, and it's better when they bend. So that's his sword. Done with that. And we'll move on to his blaster. Now, we're just going to stand him up there. Here's his blaster. A lot different than any of the other blasters, or the, just the normal blasters. As you can see, it has a lot more detail, like the other um, special weapons. And really a key piece to the other weapons, I would say. But there you go. There's that piece. Now, it actually is two separate pieces. Now, why, you ask, is because this piece right here goes on top of Summer's car to slide out of the gun. And this piece is just to go, just goes on the bottom of the gun, and I, which I'll show you where it goes in just a minute. Um, but there you go, two separate pieces. You just simply, once it's, if it falls off, you just simply snap it back on like that. If you fall, if you want to pull it off, just simply pull it off. It doesn't break anything, it's just, just how it goes. And that's just like that. Very simple. Okay, I'm going to set that with the rest of the special weapons. Now, here is Dylan. Now, Dylan is absolutely one of my favorite rangers just because he's like this um, cool, bad character. I actually did a separate video on him just in general uh, a little while ago. So, go check that out if you want to hear a bit about Dylan um, throughout the series and some special moments about him. And... Anyway, moving on, here he is. He's pretty much the same design as Ziggy. Him and Ziggy being more of a special ranger sort of thing coming in after the rest of the team. Even though Dylan technically came in in the first episode, he was not a ranger at the start. So technically he would still be a um, fourth ranger, even though a fourth ranger is not actually a special ranger. The sixth ranger in this series would have to be silver and gold, even though there's that would be seven rangers. It's still um, them because they are, they would be the seventh ranger even though they came in, both of them. Would you do see a Mega Force? I kind of thought it was super lame that they combined both silver and gold together. I would have preferred that he just chose between silver or gold, but still, it's still unique to see. Um, but Ziggy is actually the fourth ranger, which I mentioned, or which I did not mention before, sorry, that... He comes in after Dylan, which you obviously know if you've seen the series. And Ziggy and Dylan is a fifth ranger, sorry. And they both, them being both the second rangers, have the same designs. Uh, he also has his morpher on his wrist right here. Very nice design. His helmet is a wolf helmet. Like I said, his tires are just normal tires. Him not being a motorcycle, him being a car. Um, you can t definitely see the wolf in his helmet right here. Uh, very nice design. I really like this ranger, probably one of my favorite rangers, and yeah. So, we're done with the actual rangers for now. Um, we may come back to them in a second, I don't see a reason that we would, but now we're just going to move to the actual um, special weapons. So, we're going to start with number one. Number one, we have the street saber, okay? Number two, we have the turbo cannon. Now, unfortunately, I do not have Summer's 
weapons, so that would be number three. It's literally just a little car thing that just drives in and out of this um, uh, big gun. Then we have number four, Ziggy's Axe. Don't know the name of that. I don't even know if it has a name. I'm pretty sure it does, though. Dylan's Gun. Again, don't know its name, but I'm pretty sure it has a name. Now, technically, I'm just going to use Dylan's top of his gun as the car thing, even though that would t snap on top of um, Summer's thing. I will show you that in a second. Okay, so, starting off, you're just going to grab the Street Saber and the Turbo Cannon. And what you're going to do is just snap here. Look at that. You just snap the Street Saber inside of the Turbo Cannon. It just fits perfectly. You just snap it on. And those little pieces, see those pieces? They go onto the Turbo Cannon's gun parts. Um, these little indentions. And it just fits on perfectly. Now, Ziggy's axe we're going to go on to next is going to go to the top of the Street Saber. See these little, those two little dots at the top of the Street Saber? Well, there's two little dots on top, on Ziggy's axe too. So you snap those onto there. Just like that. Fits perfectly. There you go. There's the underside of it. Now, as for Dylan's gun, take it apart, snap it in half, take these parts. Now you take this part, we're just going to set this part to the side. You take the gun part, the side with the actual gun piece, and you put it on the bottom. You see this little piece right here? Uh, that piece, you take, look at that piece right there. You see this piece? This piece goes into this little notch right there. You just snap it in there. And the tip of Dylan's gun slides into Ziggy's axe, the back of Ziggy's axe. And there you go, there's the big gun. And there's the top. Here's just showing you all around. Now, Summer's weapon would just go to the right here, back here. Now, Dylan's weapon would go on top of that, and as you know, it would just shoot out of it like that, and boom, bad guy blows up. But there you go. There's the big street saber and the axe, and I forget what they call this thing, but it's the big gun. And there you go. There's the big, or yeah, there's the gun. Here's the piece that I was telling you about. Now, obviously, I just mentioned this a second ago. I don't know why I'm coming back to it. But just to mention that Summer's gun, or piece, the little car piece would go under this. And then you put that on the track, and it just you can just roll it down um, the end. Very simple. And there you go. There's how to build the entire gun. It will probably have instruction manuals on the back or somewhere inside of the... Um, toy if you get all of these rangers brand new but if you do not have them brand new and you just have the weapons there you go there's how to build the super weapon right now okay so there is the super weapon here are the swords i'm just gonna bring her sword over here too i'm gonna bring her sword and the other sword right up to each other now as you can see they're not very much different and hers is really not that much smaller it is a little bit smaller i know you can't see because it's bent but it would be a little bit like that much smaller. So not very substantially smaller, but still a little bit smaller if the other one was not bent. And there you go. There are all the Rangers, all of their guns, all of their weapons. Um, yeah, there are all the facts about them, what I think is good about them. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to do a quick one more time what is good about these Rangers and what is bad about these Rangers. Okay. So I'm going to say what's good first. Now, obviously, they're very sturdy. Their paint does not peel off as easy as some rangers besides summer. We're not really talking about summer right now. Okay, guys. So really quickly, we're just going to say the good and bad again. And what it is, is obviously you have um, the rangers do not, their legs, kneecapped areas, like I mentioned with Mystic Force, their kneecap areas, like right here, tend to break off. I don't know if you have that. They do not do that with RPM. But... They do it with Mystic Force, so be careful with that. Um, then, these Rangers are very sturdy. Their paints do not come off very easily. It, it will pretty much come off. Not talking about Summer's hands. We'll, come, we'll talk about Summer in a second. Um, but, yeah, they have great detail. Very good. Um, their standing is a little bit rough on the, you know, side that if I knock the table, they're pretty much going to fall over. But that's unfortunate. Still, um, very nice Ranger. Then... Moving on, they, yeah, like I said, they don't stand very well. Um, their legs are very small, which is unfortunate, whereas SPDs are very large and thick, so that's good. 
about SPD, but they still work. I mean, they still stand, as you can see here. They're all standing, except for Summer, who's very, very difficult to stand. Very disappointed with Summer, unfortunately. But, um, yeah. Now I'm going to show you Summer's hands really quickly, um, again, because that's the paint that's already coming off. You can see right there, that's all that's really going to come off with the paint. She does not stand up very well, um, very hard to move. Legs don't move that much, as you can see. And the RPM Rangers do move a lot very easily. Uh, you can see their arms go all the way around, all the way around. Their wrists twist by the from where the tire is. Their wrist will twist. Their legs can go forward to about there. That's as far as they go up. Um, I'll just show you with that leg. Their knees bend. Their from the tire again can twist um, a little bit like that. And yeah, their heads. I'm gonna show you. I forgot to show that in a second ago. Uh, they do twist all the way around. I was a bit wrong about that. I was trying to twist Dylan's and it was just not twisting, but Scott's does twist all the way around. Um, so there you go. There are all the Rangers. Uh, yeah. That's all the good facts. That's all the bad facts. I'm definitely saying that these are probably one of the best toys besides one of the best Rangers besides Summer, who is probably the worst Ranger I've ever seen ever. But still, no offense to the designer. They obviously did a great job with the design and everything like that. But still... They're just a very hard range to use for anything, especially videos. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment. I would really like to hear your thoughts about um, what ranger is the best. Um, if these rangers are very good at standing up, if you think they are, I personally do not because they are very difficult to stand up. What ranger you think is possibly the best ranger that stands up? Something like uh, something like that. Something a good comment. Um, I would love to hear your thoughts about these rangers what do you think about summer if maybe i just got like a dud version or something like that and it's actually a uh, kind of good ranger and they work it works well um compared to other rangers please comment that below too um yeah please subscribe and at least hit that like button because this does take me quite a while to make and i would enjoy um getting that like because it just wants makes me want to keep going so i'll see you next time on nothing like Power.